morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Live and Five Show, where we are living live. I'm Jimmy Zane. And I'm Alexis Narquez. We have a note that says you're not treating your book so well. And can you jailbreak your iPod? If not, stay tuned to find out. How did the Clippers do against the Wizards in double overtime? All of this and much more. Before it goes away. Welcome back and out to the news. The library is reminding you to please take care of our book, our library books. Handle them with clean hands. Be careful where you put them. Return them in the same manner that you check them out. If damaged, you will be fined. So everyone, please take care of your books. International Society members, you must submit your report cards, dues, and applications by, to Ms. Nassim by next Tuesday, March 28th. You, you must be a member in good standing to participate. The International Society will be meeting next Tuesday, so make sure all the paperwork is in by then. Guess what? Next Monday, there will be no school. Hooray. <laughs> so be sure to not to attend school next Monday. Fortunately, school will be back on the day after it. Fortunately. All right. So be sure to be, so be, sure to be here next Tuesday. Next Wednesday, the boys' soccer and the girls' basketball team will I be playing at Whitney's home story. field. Remember, the game starts at 3. Give them what you got, Trojans. Trojans, listen to this. You are required to receive a Tdap booster vaccination before September 2011. Vaccination will be given on Tuesday, April 5th from 3 to 6 p.m. in Artesia High School. Your parent or legal guardian needs to tag along with your immunization record. Don't fret. There is no fee for families without medical insurance. Recently, jailbreaking has become a more popular download for Apple users. Once Apple customers have jailbroken their product applications, themes and extensions would now be available, which were not before. When people jail jailbreak their iPod slash iPhone, they void their warranty on their product. Jailbreaking only works on <coughs> Apple products such as iPods, iPhones, and the iPad. It is estimated that 10% of iPhones are jailbroken. The Digital Mill Millennium Contract or Copyright Act has allowed the jailbreaking process in the United States. Jailbreaking can be easily reversed by restoring the operating system through iTunes. That's illegal, like marijuana. <laughs> okay, now it's time for your daily dispatch where Araceli Hernandez is bringing you today's top pack for top fat. Welcome back, children. Let's go see how well our children are dressing. First, we have Alexis and Martin. Alexis is wearing a shirt that says active on it with some blue jeans, and he adds it with some black and gray vans. Martin is wearing the web sweater with black jeans, and he's wearing some blue and black vans. Next, we have Eileen and Serena. Serena Eileen is wearing a navy dress with some stripes on the top, covers her shoulders with a black sweater with some silver sandals. Serena is wearing a pink black and black dress with some black boots. Last we have Giselle and Brianna. Giselle is wearing a blue jean like dress with a beige sweater with some gray sandals. Brianna is wearing a black skirt with a black and white striped blouse with some black flats. That was some awesome fashion today. We'll see you next week. 
Taking a look at Tetzal's calendar, today is a CJSF meeting at lunch and ice cream sale after school. And tomorrow is a minimum day, college Friday, and Italian ice is being sold after school. And that wraps up the ongoing events. Now let's go to Victoria Lee with the weather. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Alexis. Tomorrow, today it's going to be, there are going to be p.m. showers, but and tomorrow it's going to be a.m. showers also. A.m. showers also. So, yeah, it's going to be sunny in the morning today, so, yeah. Next week it's going to be sunny or mostly sunny while the temperature will be rising to 70, so it's going to get warmer. Let's take a look at the map. It's going to be raining in the in the west coast, also in the east coast, while it's going to be sunny in, uh, at, in su southern United States. There's going to be a couple windy cities, so yeah, let's take a look at the Friday forecast. It's going to be mostly sunny today and raining tomorrow, while the next three days will be clearing up. Ne on Monday, it's going to be to the highest point where it's going to be 73 degrees. Let's bring it over to Dion with the web poll. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dion Thomas. For this week's web poll, we have Dart here with us. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Well, will you please read this week's web poll? Sure. Um, should Tetzloff have more field trips for regular students? Well, here's what you told us, Trojans. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to come to school. Another one you guys said, <coughs> No, some field trips are boring. Well, we want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at livingfiveshow.com to vote. Send your comments to webpoll.livingfiveshow.com, and if it's good, we'll read it on the air. So what do you think? Yeah. Why? Because field trips are fun. OK. Well, I would like to give a shout out to Vanessa and Allison. I would like to give a shout out to Melissa and Clarissa. Well, that's all my time for today. See you back here tomorrow. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Dion. It's now time to swing into action with the Live and Fire Sports Report with Aaron. Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing? Good morning, Jimmy. Good. From the North Foot to South Foot and everything in between, this is your Live and Fire Sports. I'm Aaron. One night after the Staples Center hosted its first triple overtime matchup, the Clippers and Washington Wizards must have caught the bug. Blake Griffin, no. Eric Gordon scored 32 points to help the Clippers defeat the Wizards 127 to 119 in double overtime. Blake Griffin also got his first triple double and 55th double double with 33 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists. Eric Gordon helped out the most though by making a three pointer with just two seconds left in the game, sending the Clippers to double overtime. Overall, they played great and fought through it all. And the Grizzlies won from, from help from Marcus Saul to hold on to the eighth place in the Western Conference. Memphis was able to defeat the Boston Celtics in 90 to 87, and the Celtics still remain in second place in the Eastern Conference. One game behind the Chicago Bulls. Well, they're almost there. Before I go, I mean, back to you, Jimmy. Not before I go, because I'm gone. Bye. You're welcome. It's time to test your knowledge today. He's daily from one. -on -one. What is a banana classified as? <laughs> Herb, fruit, vegetable, or nut? Take five. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nut. <laughs> Herb, what, what? 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 So like, if there's like fruit flavored candy and then they put banana, I'm gonna say, that's not a fruit, that's herb. So, oh, you do that. All right. Yeah, okay. So what were you gonna do, Aaron? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Visit our website to watch today's broadcast online at livefashion.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's the end of today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. For the rest of my days, you all of my days. You're looking so cool, you're looking so fly I can't deny that when I'm staring you down a dead in the eye I wanna try to be the person you want, the person you need It's hard to conceive that somebody like you Could be someone like me I'm happy knowing that you are mine